national moratorium on evictions was extended into this new year to keep families suffering during the pandemic from ending up homeless. But many tri-staters are still facing eviction. John Matteris is covering the rebound, and you know what? He has some answers for us. A new year, a new round of evictions during the pandemic. One local Avondale woman wants to know why. This is what Ayanna McClure found when she pulled up to her apartment in Avondale one day this past fall. Painters were taking everything out and putting in new locks. Oh, uh, because this is my apartment and they changed the locks. This healthcare aide tells me she lost a month of work over the summer and had fallen behind on her rent. So it was no way I could come up with like two or three thousand dollars. Ayana, who's now staying in a local women's shelter, says she was evicted despite the eviction moratorium. I guess like the first day that he could file the eviction, he did it. She's not alone. Three days after Christmas, we found Amanda Barger and all her belongings tossed out of her rented mobile home in Cleves. I know this is a business and you gotta pay your own way, but they could have a little you know, kindness. The good news for renters behind on their payments, the national moratorium on evictions has been extended into the new year. The bad news, there are still many reasons why a landlord can still legally kick you out. Disturbing your neighbors, not maintaining, you know, keeping the, the apartment clean, those sorts of uh, lease violation or tenant violation duties. Nick DiNardo of Legal Aid says tenants need to know the eviction moratorium is not automatic. You must submit a CDC form available at the CDC or Legal Aid websites or your local library. The moratorium only applies to financial hardship. There are plenty of people who are being evicted right now. Among them, these two women. In both cases, their landlords told us there were other reasons besides late rent. Finally, a landlord can force you out at the end of your lease for no reason at all. Facing eviction, fill out that CDC form immediately so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, WCPO 9 News.